The Scarlet Notebook wasn't providing many clues. Finally, I found the name Hadrian along with Ambrosia. It was my best lead, so why not? Walking along the quiet bookshelves, I found a girl all in black. Mistake number one, she wasn't Hadrian. She knew her, though. Mistake number two, I pissed her off. Luckily, Dana's name was the password. much less one that goes by Hadrian. I get that a lot. Well, you're taller than I expected. Your name is Jay? Does that stand for something? It does Hadrian. Hadrian! It was one of the five good emperors of Rome. You know your history. I get that a lot. I read. And Jay? My parents couldn't decide if I should be a Joe or a John or a Jack, so they just named me Jay. You could change it, you know. Are we going to get on with this or not? So, Dana, I haven't seen her in a while. You won't any time soon, either. What do you mean by that? I mean, she's just scared to come back on campus. I want to know why. I want to know why one of the more interesting people I know, who knows you, is too scared to come back on campus. That's kind of weird. Meet tonight. Violet will tell you where. I have some work to do. Along with the journal, I had snagged a phone from Dana's. It was dead. I took that in the photo to the best person I knew for the job. What? I need your help. I haven't got the time. Well, I'll make it worth your while. Dude, I've got a lot on my plate here. Why don't you put a name to a face for me? That shouldn't be too hard. Never mind. There's no face. I want you to find out who that girl is with Dana. I'll start bossing things around. See what I can find. <laughs> Classy. Well, I figure you're a professional. There's another thing. Goody. You got a uh, charger for a phone like this? Let me check. Yep. Here. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I'm going to need you to keep this on the down low until I get it checked out. Uh, get on that face for me. Thanks. You know where to look out for me. Don't be an idiot! We didn't meet that night. It was rescheduled for the next one. But someone else wanted to talk to me, it seemed. Pulling me aside into the English office, someone else wanted to chat. Ah, hello, my good sir. Do sit down, would you? Most certainly, old chap. <laughs> now, aren't you amusing? Excuse me for calling you in so abruptly. I assure you it would only take a moment. That's fine. It's been happening a lot today. So I've noticed. Oh, of course. Where are my manners? I'm Sidney R. Ogden, and you are? Jay. Is that all? Yep. Huh. How interesting. Your parents have an odd but amusing sense of humor, hey? Skips a generation, I guess. <laughs> I doubt it. Well, let's get right to the point. You were seen talking with Miss Pauline Moxley, also known as Hadrian. I have one question and one question only. What did you discuss? The weather and funny names, mostly. Come now, my boy, there's no need for that. It may well hold particular significance. It does, in fact, and I'll keep it to myself if it's all the same. Very well. I hope you know you're making a very big mistake. I suggest you tread lightly around her. I'll be sure to do that. Are we good to go, sir? Huh. 
but of course. Great. Oh, and uh, <coughs> how old are you? Me? <laughs> Why, I'm 22. Yes, exactly. Don't call me boy. Dylan, my inside man. He's a little off, but that's mostly because he gave up meat and is still coping from withdrawal. Still, he's the best RA I know for what I need. Hey, man. What's up, Dylan? Ever heard of a good night's sleep? She left me a long time ago. Not doing so hot, huh? About as much as ten dimes make a dollar. Hey, question for you. Oh, come on, man. I'm off duty. RAs are never off duty. Whatever. If I got incriminating evidence on someone, you would make it stick, right? I mean, yeah. What are we talking about here? Um. Look, s stuff doesn't really stick around here, man. PS has been having all kinds of issues. And of course, no one will talk to them. A and of course, nothing much happens around here anyway. Unless it's juicy, people just get a slap on the wrist. So, I mean, it needs to be juicy, and I'm talking medium rare juicy. The world turns. Double S, double D, my friend. I said it. Oh, also. You ever hear of a girl named Hadrian? I mean, yeah. Well, like what? I mean, I've heard some things. Like what? Well, from what, I, what I've heard, she's quite the badass. Uh, I heard she, like, sells that ambrosia stuff. No way. Yeah, uh, she... Uh, she's one of them, anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, the... She and this other guy, Sidney Oakton, he, he's the one who acts like he should be in a Victorian tea party. We've met. I bet he loved you. It was a brief encounter, to say the least. So the ones making that stuff? No, well, no, <laughs> maybe. I, I, no one's really sure, but that you know, they're our best guess anyway. So if they're both selling the same stuff, why do I get the feeling that Sydney would like nothing better than Hadrian to drown in the river? Because <laughs> he would. What were they like hooking up? Uh, friends with benefits? Drug benefits? <laughs> uh, they were part of this group of five that sort of popped up while you were gone. What were they like dealing? Well, they were sort of a myth. I mean, maybe that's not the best way to describe it, but no one knew the real story for a while. Basically, there were this group that were always coming up with get-rich-quick schemes and playing other groups for influence. So, you have Hadrian, Sidney, and these other three, all with Roman names. Like the five good emperors. Uh, I, I guess that makes sense. So there were five, and then Hadrian sold out the rest to save herself. So even though Sydney's in the market now, Hadrian's still the big cat on campus. Neither one of them knows how the other's selling the stuff, but I bet if they did, they would try to stop each other. So I guess they wouldn't want to meet with me, would they? Uh, no, not unless they have a use for you. Are you trying to go a few with them? I don't know. Well, listen, I, I've got my own plate of food to worry about. This semester's killing me. So I don't really want to get dragged into any heavy squat. So, how juicy is this? Look, I'm not trying to make your life harder. I'm here to make mine easier. But I'm thinking this could help you out too, you know, morally and of course job-wise. Little brownie points for the big boys. So how do you like your steak? Man, okay, yeah, you're nuts. <laughs> Look, if you're gonna bring me in on it, it better be anonymous 
and it better be hella incriminating so you don't get in trouble. I'm a professional and I do my job well. Well done it is. Jay. Hey, Adrian. This isn't creepy at all. Well, at least no one will come by. So, you want in? Uh, question. Are you like the feminist godfather? Do I have to, like, kiss your hand and stuff to make a deal, or what? You gonna leave me high and dry like Sydney? Sydney got too big for his britches. And at the end of the day, bullshit's gotta walk. We are partners of necessity, and those are always ticking time bombs. So how's this different? You aren't Sydney. And I'm not the feminist godfather, though I'll take that as a compliment. God damn it. Fine. So how do you know Dana? What do you know? I'd prefer if you start. You aren't the one doing the favor here, so I will insist you begin. Well, I think that's a load of crap, so I'm gonna have to insist that- Jesus Christ, Jay, we can sit here all day long arguing and measuring our parts, but I'll tell you now, I don't have a dick. So you use yours and cut the bowl. This is give and take. Dana was my friend. I met her through a boyfriend, Dan, he's my housemate. Dana was an insider for me. I'd pay her to get information on people of special interest. But she was like an investigator? Something like that. I only just met her this semester. How's that? I was abroad. Just came back and met her while I was away. So you sell ambrosia. Sell only. I pick up from the maker, but indirectly. Privacy is part of the deal. So does Sydney. We were supposed to be sharing things we didn't know. So, you were spying on him? Yes. Dana was, actually. Dana went missing one night while she was looking for someone. Found her at her aunt's all scarred up. Now she's scared. And she doesn't scare. Well, it looks like we have a use for each other. Partnership of necessity, I'd say. Well, Sydney looks like a good start. Obviously, I can't go trouncing into Sydney's op, but you could. Yeah. Suppose I could. Shake things up. I'd need an in. I will set something up. I'd also need someone to cover my tracks for me. I'll handle damage control and keep you off the grid. Do we have a deal? Deal. Do I need to sound like a contract or something in case I get stabbed? What happens to your body is your own problem. Violet will get back to you with the meetup. Great. Introduced her to him, knowing what a fucking asshole he was. And I couldn't even be there for her after it happened. I feel so fucking powerless. And I, I hate. Powerless. Me too. It's gonna be okay. Right. I 
I'm here for you. No. Me and you are gonna take care of that guy. Damn right we will. <laughs>